What is going on, my Houston Texans family? Look, things are heating up. We are 29 days away from free agency. We are months away from the NFL draft. And we already have some recruitment going on. Yesterday on Twitter, Derek Stingley, former number three overall pick, well, he tagged Roquan Smith, linebacker from the Baltimore Ravens. And I'm not sure if you guys are, are aware of the situation going on up there. But it looks like Patrick Queen will be traded, right? Kind of given signs like last year where Hollywood Brown was unhappy and he got traded during draft night um, to the Arizona Cardinals. You also see that the Baltimore Ravens, they just traded for Roquan Smith and gave him a $100 million contract. I don't think they want to have two, you know, very high paid linebackers on their, you know, on their pay sheet. So all signs are pointing to a departure from the Baltimore Ravens and Patrick Queen. And when you go to Queen's Instagram, there is no signs of the Baltimore Ravens whatsoever. When you go to his Twitter bio, there is no signs of the Baltimore Ravens. And then when he responded to Derek Stingley, well, it sent us all into a frenzy. Are the Houston Texans trying to trade for Patrick Queen or even thinking about it? And when you, like I said, go back and see the situation that Patrick Queen was in, well, he was coming off of one of his best seasons. He's still 23 years old. There was still so much time for growth and so much time to get better. We just brought in D'Amico Ryans, who was known for developing linebackers. You just saw what he did with Fred Warner, who was a third-round pick and made him one of the best LBs in the league. Well, Patrick Queen this season, 17 games started, 117 tackles, lead the team in sacks with five, 14 quarterback hits, two interceptions, six packs defense. He forced a fumble, and he recovered two. Patrick Queen was all over the field last year for the Baltimore Ravens defense, and when you think about the possibility of him being paired with Christian Harris, that should excite the Houston Texans fans because Christian Harris, you know, he was hurt for a little bit, came and showed some flashes, you know, which made him the second round pick from the Alabama Crimson Tide. I love the possibility of pairing a Patrick Queen and a Christian Harris. But going back to his situation, right, when they asked Ravens GM about, you know, picking up Patrick Queen's fifth year option, it was we were really excited by the way Patrick played this year. We think he made a jump. He showed playmaking ability and leadership. He just really, really, over the course of the season, became the kind of player we envisioned him being. Specifically speaking to the fifth-year option, I'm probably not prepared to make that announcement at this point. Does it make it difficult to sign him long-term? If he's a great player, we'll find a way to make it work. If he's playing at a high level, we want to keep as many good players as we can. This just sounds like... He is going to get traded. And when you are the Houston Texans and you see the type of offseason that you've just had or you are having currently, you are knocking it out the park. You are getting praise for your hiring process with the head coach. You are getting praise for hiring D'Amico. Ownership is changing their narrative. And even general manager Nick Casario, all signs are pointing upwards to the Houston Texans. Going out there and trading for Patrick Queen is making a freaking statement, and everyone will be behind it. Like I said, 23 years old, room for growth, room for improvement. Let D'Amico work with these two linebackers. When you're talking about what compensation, what do you have to give the Baltimore Ravens for a Patrick Queen? Well, I have two options, right? I have the number 33 overall pick that I, I myself, don't mind giving up for Patrick Queen. I know linebacker is huge for the Houston Texans, and linebacker is something that D'Amico Ryan said that he wanted to get. Or you trade someone who quit on you, however, is not going to quit on the Baltimore Ravens, and that is Brandon Cooks. You know the Ravens need a veteran wide receiver, and this screams a potential trade of Brandon Cooks for Patrick Queen. And I, and I think both sides will like it. Brandon Cooks was coming off a 1,000-yard year. That's why you extended him, and all he needs is a quarterback to get him the ball. He talked repeatedly about not wanting to be in a rebuild. And the Baltimore Ravens are not that. So I would love if the Houston Texans traded away a piece they thought was going to get them through the playoffs for a piece like Patrick Queen, who we know is just only going to make this defense better. I am excited about the possibility. You guys let me know how you feel. Should the Houston Texans trade for Patrick Queen? Should they not? As always, go Texans. You guys have a very blessed day.